Okay, well I think it's time for the next roguelike on the list here. I got a couple requests in the comments, I think it was, to uh, play this one. I had played it a little bit before, I never got very far in it, because it, it always kicked my ass. And you know what, it still does. We're probably going to go through more characters in this video than I did in Ivan. Um, this game is extremely hard, in my opinion. Uh, in the description on the website, it builds itself thusly. In an unexplored sector of space, humanity is trying to establish a permanent presence. Mega corporations employ freelance prospectors to find exploitable resources and map unknown planets for them. The player commands one of those scout ships, trying to become a filthy rich prospector. So, that's us. We're just going to start a new game, let it start generating the sector. Uh, everything is random, the planets are random, the universe is random. It's a good time for everyone. For the first ship uh, that I'm going to use, in fact, probably the only ship that I'm going to use out of all of these, is the troop transport. It, you can read the description about it if you want. It comes with an um, additional security team already on board. So let's see. An unexplored sector of the galaxy. You are a private prospector. You can earn money by mapping planets and finding resources. Just land on the planet, walk around, and uh, start mapping it out. That'll earn you money once you turn it in. Turn it into the the agency. Your goal is to make sure you can live out your life in comfortable retirement. We want to make money, buy ourselves some retirement perks, and then retire before we die. But beware of alien life forms and pirates. We'll start out with a troop transport, and we're just gonna call it the Bloody Mary. So let's see, I am using the graphical tile set. It's an option that you can turn on whenever you uh, go through the options. Uh, I didn't show those. Maybe, maybe I will in a future video or something. I'm sure you can figure it out on your own. It's pretty self-explanatory. But this is us. This is our little itty-bitty ship that we start on. This stuff right here around us, that's gas clouds. You generally do not want to go through the gas clouds. They'll damage your ship. And we start over a small space station. We're just gonna dock with it. Boo! And we show up and arrive uh, on the space station. This is the airlock and that's our ship. We'll have to move back to it whenever re we are ready to leave. These little symbols, they're shops and things you can interact with. Just bump into them. Let's see, this one's a hiring center. We're going to hire some more security. We're gonna hire three security, um, one squad leader, and one sniper. I don't have any room for paramedics, but we'll, we'll pick one up later on. Pilots? No, I think I've already got a pilot. I do want another ship's doctor, though. We'll hire him. You know what? I guess I can hire one from each. No. Try again later. It's possible I'm out of space on my ship. I don't know. Shift A will bring up your um, units list, and you can decide who lands on the planet and who stays on the ship by pressing enter whenever you've got them highlighted. You can also give them items with by pressing S. I don't have that many items to give away. Um, let's see. The top two people. Um, the captain, he's got a full arena suit on and a balanced rifle. The pilot has a rifle. And I, I guess that's it. Balanced rifle, rifle. We'll give the, the gunner a mono sword. And the gunner is just a gunner for our ship. They'll be gunning the turrets and stuff like that just back out of the higher end menu there. This one is uh, to refuel and reload your ship. You want to do that every time you land on a space station so you don't get stranded in space with no fuel. Um, whatever this one is, I don't know. Apparently I can't do anything with it. This one is a casino. You can play roulette. You can piss your money away. We're going to bet on Noir. We have 136. How many credits do I have? I don't know. Let's just bet 20 credits on it. Come on, big money. Yeah, we won 40 credits. And with our winnings, we're going to leave now. There you go. You can make money that way. You can have a drink. Pick up rumors and stuff. You can find passengers to transport around. This passenger wants to get to Space Station 3 by turn 64. That would give us 60 turns to get to Space Station 3. They would pay us a decent amount. But, you know, I'm not really going to be a taxi service. Nope. Don't think so. So no, we'll say no to that. And uh, we're just going to leave this place. There's more airlocks up here. From what I can tell, the space station is not random. There's nothing over here, more airlocks there. There's nothing down through that door that I've seen. 
No, I don't want to attack the citizen yet. If they continue to block my path, I may want to just murder everyone on the station here. So let's see, this is a shop. Uh, an overweight gentleman greets us. Welcome to Mud's Incredible Bargains. You wish to buy or sell? We're going to buy some stuff. Um, we don't have too much money. We could buy landmines, grenades, guns. A small handheld weapon. An explosion propels a projectile. Yeah, we're going to buy eight of these guns. Spend all of our money. And um, let's go back to our unit screen. Shift A. And let's give out some of these guns. There's one to the science officer. The doctor's got a gun. You know, I think it actually automatically equips people. Yeah, it does. Nice. Okay. So that's good news then. We are, let's see, just a few weapons shy, unfortunately. We'll have to buy more at some later point. <clears throat> we'll go exploring here in a moment. Back here is where the retirement centers are, normally. This one is where you can sell art and stuff, I guess. I've never found art. Normally, there's another shop back here that you can retire at. Sell your fuel there. Well, maybe I can't retire in this station. I'll we'll have to find another place to retire at. But, that's the space station. Pretty straightforward. Um, I probably won't be coming back here until later in the game, if ever. We're just going to go back to our ship, press L, and launch into space. So now that we've got our gear set up, we've got people hired, we're loaded on fuel, just going to use the number pad and start flying around through space. That S, that means the starting space station. That's where you started from. Space is empty until you're flying around and you bump into something. Like we almost bumped into that gas cloud. But we did find a star out here in the middle of nowhere. Whenever you move on top of a star, you'll see your nav comp computer here. It'll show you how many planets are in orbit around the star. The big, the big zeros, um, those are gas giants. You can't land on a gas giant, but you can siphon um, fuel from it and get yourself blown up. You can press S to pull up a scan box down here. And uh, using the arrow keys, you can cycle through which planet you want to scan. We'll try to scan the, the gas giant. It says a hot Jupiter. Do you want to refuel in its atmosphere? No. If I was desperate, I would, but I'm not desperate. We'll scan the second planet here. And what this view is that it pulls up, this is an actual view of the planet's surface. These little icons that we can actually see, that's what our crappy scan equipment picked up. Uh, with the crappy gear we've got, you can't scan very much of the planet's surface. Like some sand there, some bullcrap rock there. There's a geyser right here. This is a mountain. There's some trees. It tells you how much liquid is on the surface generally. Um, tells you what type of atmosphere before you land on it. The temperature, the gravity, the chance that there's life forms on the planet. I haven't actually bumped into friendly life forms. So I kind of urge caution about landing on planets that have a high probability of life unless you're willing to go into combat and kill stuff. But we're not going to land here, quite frankly, because it has a dense atmosphere and it's a corrosive atmosphere. A dense corrosive atmosphere, not something I want to mess with. I don't think it'll kill you outright instantly, but it'll whittle you away. So we'll scan the third planet. 40% liquid surface, thin atmosphere but a high probability of life. 63% probability. Um, no, we're not going to land on that as the first planet and end up getting killed within three steps. We'll scan the next planet. Very dense, exotic atmosphere. 100% probability for life. It's probable that they're jamming our scanners. That's why we can't get a scan at all on the surface. It's just completely black. We're definitely not going to land there. They'll probably shoot us down or shoot us as soon as we land there. This planet, um, no liquid on the surface, no atmosphere. It's freezing cold, look how cold that is, minus 269 degrees Celsius. A Little bit low on the gravity, just um, a tenth under normal. Life forms, extremely high. There are some scary ass life forms out there, you've been warned. The next planet, very dense exotic atmosphere, 48% probability. Exotic atmosphere, 36% probability. 
this these dots right here um, they're they're asteroid belts you can scan them and we've scanned it and let's see a huge asteroid is here it has very low mass though I'm getting faint energy signatures there are ships on the surface that's kinda creepy what type of ships are they pirate ships are they alien ships waiting to murder us you can see the mountains everywhere we'll land um, just we'll just press L then and we land right here on the planet's surface. You can see our visibility opens up a large chunk of the flat flat terrain. And we see these little icons down here. I think these are pirate icons. We're going to press X, bring up our examine box. And yeah, a landed pirate cruiser, a landed pirate cruiser, another landed pirate cruiser. Uh, I'm almost positive that those pirate cruisers are probably probably loaded with pirates. I want to board one. Can I? No. We can't. I can't bump into it. I can't board it. That kind of sucks. Okay, well, the pirate cruisers are there. There's another pirate cruiser. Can I shoot at it? Your hand weapons aren't powerful enough to damage a spaceship. So, no. We can't. Ooh, what is this? Stairs. Do we want to enter the stairway? This is probably a pirate base. Um, no. You know what? Fine. Yeah, I guess I will. I'll lead you guys to the death here. There's a P, a pirate. A squad of pirates armed to the teeth and ready to fight. They're unhurt. They're attacking us. Um, you know what? Can I can I go back up? Yeah. Let's get the hell out of here. Are the pirates going to follow us? They might. This is a death trap. And we're refilling our oxygen. Because um, there's no atmosphere on this, your oxygen tanks will count down. It'll tell you, a little computer voice will tell you whenever your tanks are at, at half and you need to turn back. There's another ship. There's probably a way to steal these ships, I just don't know it. Um, I might have to look that up later. I've never actually landed somewhere and found ships before without getting instantly obliterated. We're back at our ship though, we're just going to launch. And back into space we go. Scan this last planet. 6% probability of life and remnants of an exotic atmosphere. We'll land here. And there we are. There's our ship. Right in the south middle part of it. And we're just gonna... We get splashed with liquid ammonium. One of our security members was hurt. See, now we're just on the planet's surface. Just scouting around. What is that? An amphibian with a cone-shaped head. Two lens eyes and a small mouth. A long neck leads to a thick body with no arms and four short legs. It weighs 512 kilograms. Jeez, it's a scavenger and it's unhurt. And it has friends. Huh. I kind of want to shoot at them. I would like to kill them and <laughs> take their bodies back to be researched. We'll just scout around. Need to make a little bit of money. Some interesting ferns there. Uh, we just, I think just walking over them will automatically scan them. I mean, there's so much I don't know about this game. Uh, I'll try to figure it out. And maybe after this character dies. I just wanted to get a little bit of this recorded. So, uh, you know, walking across the surface here starts mapping it all. It can get quite tedious pressing forward, forward, forward. So you can press the W key in the direction you want to go. And, um... It'll automatically make your character move that way until you bump into something interesting. Like these little asterisk symbols here. Those are resources. If you step on them, you'll automatically pick them up and you can sell them at the agency whenever you land on a space station. Yay! The doctor fixes up some cuts and bruises of our team. George Spencer is dead. Wonder how that happened. Maybe he got splashed right directly in the face with ammonia. Froze to death out here, perhaps. Punctured a hole in his bio suit. So yeah, we've got this whole planet mapped out now. Pick up a little bit of ice to take back and sell. Sec member injured. Oh no, we lost Florence Clark too. I gotta stop. Yeah, we gotta get out of here then. Nice little planet. We'll launch. We're down to 60 fuel out of 80. And here's another star system. And right here is uh, the next space station that we're going to go to. So let's scan this planet. 20% liquid surface. Thin exotic atmosphere. It's got really high gravity though. 
and the life form is an 18% probability. That's not too bad. We pilot and successfully land on the difficult terrain without crashing into the mountains. Pink sand. We should take some of it back with us. Frozen water. And there are dangers to you besides um, the life and the occasional being splashed with, splashed with strange liquids. Yep, that little beep reporting our oxygen tanks are half empty. You can see our oxygen counting down with each step over here. We make it back to the ship, refill, and now we're ready to go back out and adventure. Looks like uh, some of the stuff is melting. Temperature will change on the planet's surface. Water will freeze. I don't know if it'll thaw out. I've never actually seen that, but I have seen ponds and stuff freeze over. And, um... If your oxygen gets too low, you will switch to oxygen reserves, which basically at that point, if you're not back to your ship, you're going to be screwed. Maybe we'll see it here. 54, switched back to extra low, switching to oxygen reserves, 1, 2, 3, there we go. So that's about as much of the plan as we're going to map out now. We can launch it, and we can press shift L to choose a specific location to land at, I think. I don't know how that works though. L will just land anywhere on the planet. Shift L will land at a specific spot. Um, I still haven't managed to get that to work correctly. Good luck to you if you try it. Um, let's scan the next planet here though. 0% liquid surface, thin atmosphere, and 100% probability for life. Not going there just yet. An asteroid belt. Our science officer says there's an asteroid containing a high amount of copper. Should we try and take the asteroid on board? Sure, why not? Open the cargo bays. Let's try to swoop and sweep that asteroid up. Our pilot hits the asteroid, damaging the ship and changing its trajectory. It'll now crash into a planet somewhere. We're going to try it again. Okay, our hit points are running out. We only have five haul points, so no, we're not going to try again. You failed, the captain. We tried and failed. This planet... The next planet around the star, zero liquid on it, no atmosphere. Pretty safe to land on and to run around on, to start mapping out. It won't get us much money, as long as we don't get ourselves killed. A meteorite streaks across the sky and slams into the planet's surface. Another one does. This might be a really dangerous planet. It's possible, I think, for your ship to be hit by a meteor and blown up. You can have your escape route sealed off because it does create ridges whenever the meteors hit the ground. Just snowy, horrible plains here. And we're going to leave this planet too. There are some resources over here that we could go try to drill from the rock. If you've got a mining drill or even a mining probe, uh, maybe we'll find a planet that we can drop a probe on. Like, let's see, this planet's got some resources. Um... Press P for a probe. Shift P. No. Can I bring up my inventory? Okay, I don't know how to release probes either. I will figure out probes after this character's dead. Fuel is low. Okay. Out of the gas cloud. What's this? A red sun. It's got a lot of planets floating around it. Let's see. This one. 3% probability for life. We're going to land here. Scout it out. Just rock and ice. And occasionally the ground will fracture open and start spewing lava all over the place. I've had my ship be swallowed up by lava. It won't destroy your ship per se, from what I've seen, but it'll make it extremely hard to get to as your crew has to dance their way across streams of lava. Yeah, we're gonna get out of here. The lava's starting to make its way towards our ship. So we're gone from that planet. This next one, exotic atmosphere, life forms, 45%. Look at all of these resources. We land in a far corner in open field. Pick up some gold there. What are these? Ferns. Some interesting plants, perhaps. Some iridescent flowers. Scan them, taking bio samples. Pretty flat planet. If only it had an atmosphere we could breathe refill our oxygen. What's this? A small amount of osmodium. Pretty small planet too. Whoa, what are you? 
It's a cephalopod with a flat head. It has two lens eyes and an elongated mouth. A short neck leads to a thin body with no arms and ten floating tentacles. It's a mind flayer. Its whole body is covered in leathery skin. It has a spiked tail. It is a predator. And it looks like it's sleeping up there. We're going to let it sleep. Until we make some money and buy armor and better gear and stuff like that. I don't really want to want to bother bother messing with the wildlife. I've not had success with it yet. Um, let's go back this way. There's a dead away team up there. I'll show you what that symbol looks like. Another surveying team apparently has been here before and they died. If you ever adventuring around and you see this pile here, that little shape. Let's see. There's snow, iron, med pack, a gyro, jet gun. It's another. It's a dead freelancer team. Well, it means death, anyways. There's no no bio data to be gathered from uh, scanning humans. Small amount of gold. More gold there. Holy shit, there it is. Scared the hell out of me. Um, you hit for three points of damage. The cephalopod is slightly hurt. It suffers no casualties. Two of our sec members are hurt. How many of them are there? Just one? We kill it. We hit it for three points of damage, and it dies. Um, we scan its biodata, and our doctor picks us up. Our tanks hit half empty, and we're going to get the hell off this planet. Oxygen low, the ground's starting to rumble, yeah. We're gone. 26 fuel. Let's try to coast to this station here. We successfully navigate the anomaly, and high gravity sh shakes our ship. Suddenly an energy, energy discharge out of nowhere <laughs> evaporates our ship. And even after all of our careful planning and flying around, we still get killed here. So let's see, very low fuel. Do you want to see our last messages again? Sure. Ship is damaged, fuel very low. We successfully navigate the anomaly, and the next anomaly we flew into completely blew us up. Or um, an, an enemy vessel that was cloaked or something we didn't see blew us up. The troop transport the Bloody Mary. Mission summary, 3,875 points. I don't understand the point system in this game. Um, yeah, I, I just don't understand it. Discovery has discovered four systems mapped 21% of the planets. No remarkable planets discovered. We killed one alien. We set new safety standards for space exploration by not losing a single crew member. Except for whenever the ship violently imploded in space and we were never heard from again. Mission type explorer. No alien artifacts found. Um, nope, don't want to see that. Save mission summary. Nope. And you can see, hey, that's my second best one. Th my first best one, you can tell I was a little bit rage mode whenever I got it. Uh, I don't even know what I did. I basically just flew around and um, eventually got blown up. Landed on a planet and had an insect bite my head off. But that's my that was my best game ever, so maybe we can top that. I'm going to make sure that everything recorded here, because this was kind of a test video. And uh, whenever I come back, we'll be going through planet exploration a little bit quicker. We'll run a few more characters through this. Oh, there's the life form. Attack the cephalopod. Let's see. No. The cephalopod suddenly seems aggressive and tries to help his friends. They attack. He's attacking, and there's five of them there, I think. I think that I'm pretty sure that five slash five means that's how many there are. There's more cephalopods back there. We take off running. A small amount of iron shows up on our scanners. Hey, wait, there's more iron here. We grab that iron, go back for it. Okay. The cephalopods didn't chase us, which is good enough for me. We'll launch. We've completely mapped that planet for all intents and purposes, except for that one small chunk in the middle. We scan this planet. Zero liquid, no atmosphere, 18% probability for life. We land in a mountainous region here. Just scout around a little bit. Stay close to our ship in case anything attacks. Yes. Like this. An omnivore. Two sec officers hurt. Beth Perry is dead. We attack the insect again and it dies. We take some biomass from it. it wasn't too bad. Oh, and another one. It's attacking us. I saw more off in the distance. We fire our guns. Gunner is injured. Pick up its body and we're getting out of here. That's enough, um, enough stuff for now. 
This right here is a rogue planet, I think. I need to actually start heading towards the space station down here before we run out of fuel. Um, an unidentified sensor blip. Engage? No. Let's get out of here. Oh no, we dove into the gas cloud, goddammit. Too late, you realize that your ship was already too damaged to further explore the gas cloud. A quick run for the edge wasn't enough. See the last messages? No. I know we got fucked. That's all I need to know. Ship lost due to navigational error in the gas cloud. Loaded up again, another planet. Eleven fixed, two loops. Um, I'm gonna be, yeah, troop transport again. Why not? Oh, we're gonna be Murder Mobile again. How about Murder Mobile 2? No, I can't. How about Murder Machine? Have I already done Murder Machine? I'm not sure. Um, let's dock and go recruit some more gun, some security troops, security people, whatever. God damn, if I could talk. Um, security, we'll hire three of them. One squad leader and another paramedic. Ship's doctor will hire yep, another one. A science officer, hire him, yes. A gunner, there's another one there, hire that one. And another pilot, sure. Is that him? Did I hire all of them? Pilot, gunner, doctor? I don't think so. Maybe. We're up to 15 people now. If we can find a weapon store here. Anybody working down here? Get away from me, you civilian bastard. You're blocking me. I'm already on the edge from constantly being murdered by wildlife and stuff. Gas clouds, primarily, it seems. Retirement? Retire now, buy assets? No. Not yet. Our day will come. Sell our fuel? No. Maybe if we were a transport ship and we were actually harvesting fuel full-time or something. Um, let's just get out of here. I don't think they've got a shop. We launch into the blackness of space, make our way towards this space station. And as we dock at this one, the station commander decides to do a routine check on our cargo hold before allowing us to disembark. Now, if you come to another one of these stations, not the first one, these this is the menu you get. You don't actually get to walk around on that station. If you've scouted a few planets and you've got biomass to get rid of or minerals and resources to sell, you want to go to the, the offices. They'll, they'll all have different names. You'll talk to them and we'll give them, uh, you give them all the data that you've collected. And normally you get paid for it. Except, uh, you know, I haven't actually done anything on this character, so we're just going to leave the station. Travel to one of these nearby stars. A blue giant that has one planet circling it. We scan it. Wow, it's got civilization. I can see roads and buildings. Very dense atmosphere. We're going to land here. Use the landing pad? No. Don't let them know that we're arriving. So there's a humanoid here. It's a friendly human pioneer. Hello, friend. A friendly human pioneer. A friendly human pioneer. He welcomes us to the colony. Nice. And this is a store right here, that number sign. An overweight gentleman greets us. Welcome to Mud's Incredible Bargains. Buy, sell. We only have 100 credits. I can't buy anything. Sell me some map data. That would be useful. It would save me time for having to scout these planets again. What do we got here? Something we collected. Some type of valuable resources. Maybe iron. Um, this is a shop we could repair at. Can repair one of our hall points up to one. No, I'm not going to spend my last credits. Another equipment store. So nice. These towns even have stuff. Even the planets do. A stranded light scout. It will take 21 hours to repair it. Start now? Yes. We start to repair the ship. Aha. Do we want to abandon our old ship and keep this one? This will be a scout. Built for exploring. It has a high endurance and a decent sized crew. No, I don't want to. I wish I could sell that ship. Make a bunch of money from it. Hopefully that helped somebody. We can't pick the door locks on that one. Refuel and pick up ammo from this shop? Yes. We'll pay a few credits. And actually we're going to leave this civilized planet. We've explored it as much as I want to. I don't think we'll get much money for exploring... Uh, 
a civilized, highly known about planet here, we launch off into space. And, hang on, into the gas cloud? No, gas clouds are bad. At this planet, very dense corrosive atmosphere. Life forms, 48% probability. Decent gravity, average temperature, we're gonna land here. And we do it roughly and damage our ship. We bounce off the ground and bend back one of the landing struts. Our sturdy Gauss gun corrodes. Yeah, let's get out of here. We'll pick up a small amount of gold and we're out of here because that place is hellish. Very dense corrosive atmosphere. It'll eat away all your stuff. 78% liquid surface, dense exotic atmosphere, 99% probability of life. Let's land and just take a look around. Amphibians there, unhurt, six of six. A centipede, it's a predator, 13 of them. Screw you guys. And we pick up some gold that's laying outside of our ship and then we launch into space. We scan this planet, no atmosphere, 9% probability for life. Oh, nice and peaceful here then. Can map it out in relative peace. Not have to worry about having my head bit off by something with 15 legs and sword like mandibles. Oh, really? A giant vicious reptile attacks us. Three sec members killed. It's attacking. We attack back. We don't penetrate its reptile armor, it kills two more sec members. Emergency launch, the captain's been killed, and we're fucking dead again. <laughs> Your away team was obliterated. Your bones are being picked clean by alien scavengers. I'm obviously doing, I mean, am I doing something wrong? I'm going to let you guys yell me out. This is going to be the last video I upload, or the last character I do. Well, I'll do one more character, and then I'm going to upload this video, and then I expect some of you experts to yell at me about what I could do better what I'm doing wrong here. We should be able to survive a little bit better than this, I would think. We're gonna call this Psycho, Psycho Rage. There we go. Let's dock and get some more crew members. I want security, three. Squad leader, one, to lead these dumb bastards. A paramedic to heal their wounds. Um, science officer, hire one of them, yes. Gunner. Fires your weapons. Coordinates security team attacks. Hire him. Pilot, hire. Hire everybody. I don't even know if it makes a difference. And we're out of here. There's our first star. A white sun. Spectral class F. We can scan it. It's got bunches of planets. This first planet. Very dense corrosive atmosphere. No. Try to stay away from this corrosive stuff. Dense exotic atmosphere, 12% probability for life. We land the ship near a village. There's a dirt hut here, cultivated land, some rock iron, and a bunch of steam. What is that? It's an acid geyser. We pick up a small clay statue in the hut. There's geysers all over this place. Acid geysers, too. Maybe they've killed everyone that lives on this planet, or used to live on this planet. Whoa, 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 the vicious centipede shoots bows and arrows at us. Sec member injured, sec member injured. So it's a sentient centipede planet. And we stole one of their statues. How many people did we lose? Anybody? No, it looks like everybody's fine. Let's launch. I don't want to be killing the natives. This planet, dense exotic atmosphere. 48% probability of life. Just tiptoe around the landing site. Exotic tree and smoke. Maybe there's a, a volcano or some other type of geyser. There it is. Um, can't tell because it's so far away. Holy crap. The huge vicious mammal attacks us. We attack back. And the captain was killed. Son of a bitch. So yeah. um, That's going to be the last character I upload. I'll, I'll try to plan a little bit more. Get better at this game. So I can do like a 30 to 40 minute run or longer and not get completely obliterated. Um, other than that, if you have any pointers or advice, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Download the game yourself. The link is in the description. Offer your feedback to the developer on their website. Let them know you're interested in the game. That's what drives them, drives 
people who create stuff on and let them know you're interested in it. Lovely game. It's gonna kick your ass. Be ready for it. Just accept it. It's harder than Ivan. I'm warning you. <laughs>